Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 107 to 108. I look a lot shorter because I'm on my workout yoga ball and I'm trying to, you know, move around and my back been hurting. But due to Webtoon's new policy of 2023 starting all the way to now continuously, uh, I do have to blur 50% of each episode, so yes, cat logo's going up or else my channel will get taken down. We're not dealing with that anymore. And for anyone out there who do want to support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash cktchaotic, I will have all these reads without any censorship, any blurs, especially for all the graphic part of this read. Um, definitely check it out and yes, also gain early access. So... Yeah, and all your money that you guys have donated have been going to a great cause because, man, there has been some issues in my neighborhood where someone accidentally drilled into the water line at the main pipeline for the water tanks and a water maintenance guy fell into the tank and he un unfortunately did not make it. And so... Everything that I have earned so far, I donated it to their GoFundMe. So I've been saving up all the savings from from Patreon for emergencies, family related to local related, anyone in the business. So I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me because I'm so glad I can pay it forward. All right, guys, let's get started and hopefully you guys can hear the music. I was re-listening to all my reads for Purple Hyacinth and I did not hear the music very well, so I did crank it up. Hopefully, it's not going to be too overwhelming. Let's go. Purple Hyacinth, episode 107. You know, I used to hate dreaming about you. Because it reminded me of something I couldn't feel anymore. The art is so different. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did someone just plop my teddy bear on her? Why are you hiding here? The maids are searching for you everywhere. Hold on, it's not catching the audio. I'm here. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, how did you find me? Well, it's been five years since we've been friends, so... You know, the painting Dagen got for Tristan on his birthday last year? The one that he always brags about every time he visits? I accidentally tore it. Uncle Tristan forgave me, but... I know he lied when he said he wasn't sad. <sighs> Your lie detector ability really isn't convenient sometimes. I don't need you to remind me that. I want to make it up to him. But it's going to cost a fortune to get it repainted. And where am I going to get that money? It seems impossible. I don't know what to do. So I've just been hiding. I feel so awful. I'm too embarrassed to see anybody. You're so embarrassed, but you don't mind telling me about all of it? Your opinion doesn't really count. What? Oh! He tossed his hat. You should really stop casually throwing your hat around. You'll end up tearing it one day and I won't help you mend it. It's a hat. It's not going to tear from this. Come on, let's get you out of this sulking state. I know exactly what you need right now. Oh. 
It's a festival. My father told me about it because he has a booth selling flowers. There are artists and musicians and all sort of cool stuff. Around 8 p.m., they'll release lanterns into the sky near the dock. Oh, uh, huh? I don't know how to say that word. Hold on. I listened to it and it's kind of hard. That insouciance. That peace of mind. Oh. <gasps> Let's go! Dylan, what are you doing? A few days ago, you said you always wanted to be carried bridal style. Dylan, that's not bridal style. It's not? No. Oh. Teddy bear. Oh, the lantern. So, this is for your mom? Yep. You know, you always think that your ability is a burden, but it can actually do a lot of good. After my mom passed, you were the only one who could really see through me. It felt a little less lonely. So I don't let your ability beat yourself up too much. I'm sure whatever you come up with, for Tristan, he'll love it. For your mom. And Tristan's torn painting. <laughs> that made my, I want to cry. Okay. Do you think he could reach the stars? If it's just one step at a time? It doesn't seem too bad, does it? Huh? <laughs> I know what to do for Tristan painting now. Thank you, Dylan. Wait, Ren? Where are you going? <coughs> and ten years later? I was still devoured by guilt. To make sure it's not too low. For not finding you. For not saving you. triggered the nitro on the second floor and the ceiling collapsed we need to get out of here but on that night Dylan is just one step you saved me it's just one more step you saved us That was a good song in the background. Hopefully my volume I adjusted was perfect, but I will listen to it after. Hopefully it didn't muffle my voice out, so that will be very sad. 
the tunnel, the entrance is end of the corridor. Man, that must be exhausting. Pitch black. Here. Do you know where this leads? Not exactly, but the tunnels usually connects to hideouts or other sewers. Look at the arrows on the wall. We'll follow them uh, them east. Uh, my apartment's that direction. <sighs> okay, turning on sound. Purple Hyacinth, episode 108. Home, sweet home. <sighs> they need to tend to their wounds. <sighs> what are you doing? Calling my doctor, since we can't really <clears throat> show up to a hospital right now. As in, your phantom scythe doctor? Yes, don't worry. He knows better than to talk about you. Good morning, doc. Nope, not dead yet. Don't be so surprised. I'll get offended. Alright, you know the place. <sighs> That's convenient. He's been doing an amazing job at keeping me alive. Maybe too amazing. Is it even safe to be here? I thought your apartment was being watched. Hopefully, not all the time. Can't think of a bet, but better place to hide anyways. Unless you want to walk across the entire city to get to the cave. You're right. This floor seems very fine to me. How long is it going to take for the doc t doctor to arrive? I need to get home, though. It should be soon. Should be. Soon. I have to go home. Uncle, recent, tomorrow. They'll know where to loon. There's no way they won't know. Will they believe me if I said I was in a car crash? Even if we survive tonight, we're going to go, we're going to jail. Karen? Why does a purple hyacinth never use a gun? Why did you use one earlier? It was the only solution, wasn't it? to protect the people that I saw dancing. Laughing, fighting to protect others, and living. They didn't deserve to die there. So, why a sword? <sighs> Killing. With a gun, it's so easy. You just pull the trigger, and lives are ended so effortlessly. As if they're all just meaningless. That's all there is to it. He lied there. You know, you never finished what you were going to say earlier. If this is the end, I have to tell you that I... Right. I want to tell you that, that I'm thankful for you too. You, I'm a better person because of you. All of this. 
make life makes a bit more sense since I've met you. A is the detective making a notorious assassin a better person? Like I said, a match made in hell, but not a bad one. Lauren. <sighs> okay, I really hope she just passed out and not because that's it. You know, like that, that's the end of her. <sighs> Look, okay, you see this? They, they're collecting our tears. They're, they already have one of mine in that little mug of theirs. Oh my gosh, this... Two episodes. I'm so glad I read these two, two episodes together. Yes, it ended on a cliffhanger, but they they pulled on my heartstring. Young Ren to Ren now, and now we still don't know if she's gonna make it. I was so excited. I was so excited that they made it out of that factory. But now we need to know if they will survive through the night from all those injuries and all the smoke and stuff that they inhaled. And I hope she's able to come back home and act okay. But there's no way. Her her uncle's gonna know, like, hey, she is Loom. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, check out my Patreon page. And if you, if you guys want to support me, you guys do not have to, but I'm always grateful for it. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye!